Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be a tip trick style video about whether or not to apply your concealer in your contour before or after your foundation. So what I'm going to end up doing is splitting my face. One half you'll see it with my concealer and um, contour before and then one half I'll do after so you can see the difference and then I'll actually do a little bit of a wear test over the next few hours just so you can see how they both hold up. Um, what I did already is I did already prime with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer all over um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just lightly set my primer. Um, if you guys haven't heard that trick from one of my recent or previous videos, um, that is something that I like to do to help with the stay of my foundations and my concealers really in general. And you're not going to go crazy with your setting powder, just very lightly dust it all over that primer to help your concealer or your foundation really stick and grip onto that primer better. Uh, so I just went ahead, by the way, and with my Lawless Seal the Deal translucent powder, so that's what I went ahead and just lightly set with. And then as I mentioned, I'm going to split my face. So this side I'm going to do concealer and contour first, and this side is going to be foundation first. So I'm going to go ahead and just start in with the concealer and contour. So first, just gonna go ahead in with my concealer. Since I'm only doing half the face, I just have to be a little bit strategic here with my placement. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go in to contour. So what I normally will do first is use a slightly darker concealer. Not crazy dark, but just enough to give me a nice little tint. And then what I'll do is take a really, really dark liquid contour or concealer um, and just really get in very lightly onto the actual areas that I want more depth. You'll notice it's going to be very drastic, but this is again because the foundation is going to be going over to really smooth it over. So don't worry too much about like harsh lines or um, strong contrast between your lighter and darker areas. Okay. Now that I've gotten this half done, I'm just gonna put the foundation on the entire face and then I'll go in with my additional concealer and contour on this side after. So the foundation that I'm gonna use for the entire face just to kind of make it fair and even is my Il Maquillage foundation, the Wake Woke Up Like This foundation. Um, I'm just choosing this because it's very easy, neutral, um, kind of medium coverage foundation. So I think it'll really show the difference here for us.
have the foundation all over. Hopefully you guys can already tell like there's a little bit more definition here and you can tell it's more even, better coverage, fuller coverage, the whole shebang. This side's obviously a little more gapey, but we'll go back in again now with the concealer on top on the side so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see now that it's all complete. Um, so this side does have a little bit more, again, drastic difference, but this side is now more natural. So I do have the contour and the shading, but it's not as obvious that I'm trying to do that. It has a more natural look to it. So that's really the main difference between the two. And you'll see again, um, once I have like a full face on, the real difference is, again, this side's gonna end up looking a little bit more natural, and this side a little bit more dramatic, like a full full face beat kind of makeup look. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of, I'm gonna go and set, add in my powder contour, my blush, my highlight, everything else I would do normally. Um, I'll do just simple eyes, just brows and mascara, nothing crazy. Um, and then you'll, you'll we'll, I'll pop right back, um, just so you can see what everything looks like completed. And then we'll just go through and do, um, just kind of like a wear test. So every maybe three, four hours, I'll just pop back, show you how things are holding up. Um, in my opinion, I always find that the contour underneath actually does last longer, but we'll test it and I'll show you guys and we'll see, especially with these specific products. I've not actually tried with this combination. Um, just so you're aware and I'll tag everything in this video post. But again, that foundation was the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This foundation. I used the color 070, so 70. Um, for my light concealer, so the under eyes and kind of the lighter parts of my face, I used the Born This Way Too Faced Sculpting Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And then for my more natural concealer with a little tint. I use the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. This guy right here. Um, and then to really get into that darker, kind of more contoury areas, I use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Deep Tan. So you can see it's a lot darker um, than the other ones. So to give me that little extra contour. So all the products I used on both sides are the same. It's just at this point, the difference of before or after the foundation. And again, I'm gonna go in with the, the same products all over from here on. So when I do the wear test, it'll be same thing with the very, very minor difference of foundation before or after the concealer. So I will be right back. Okay, so here we are. Complete look. Pretty sure you can still see the differences between the two. I literally exact same thing, like I mentioned, same products, same placement, same application, everything. Um, now we will just wait, like I still do a kind of just wear test, see how this holds, let you guys know. Um, but again, really when it comes to my preference between the two styles of application, when it comes to concealer, contouring, and foundation, I find that the Concealer and contour underneath has a tendency to last longer, but it has a more natural look. So for me, a lot of the time, I actually want a more dramatic look, and so that's why I tend to apply my concealer and my contour after the foundation, because you have a little bit more control over how dramatic and how extreme you want it to look. Um, so that's really where my stance is on it, but again, I'm doing this whole test, this whole video, so that you can decide what is best for you. Um, so just 
stay tuned. I'll be back in a few hours to let you know how everything's holding up. Okay, so we're about three and a half hours in and honestly, I'm not seeing any difference at all on either side of my face. I'm maybe a little bit of oil coming through here on this side compared to this side. But aside from that, I'm looking at my jawline, the center of my face, my forehead and everything else is looking almost exactly the same on either side. So, so far they're both performing just the same. Um, but I do maybe see a tiny bit of oil peeking through here. So I guess we'll see again another four hours um, and see how that looks. But so far, both are holding up just about the same. Again, it's just that finish, whether it's a little bit more natural, a little bit more extreme um, as the main differentiator between the two of them so far. So I'll keep you guys updated and see you in a bit. So we're like actually probably closer to eight and a half hours in now i'm a little bit late back but honestly i mean you tell me i'm definitely getting pick up here but i definitely rub my nose a bit and i have a tendency to like touch this part of my face so like this coming off is not unusual for me but the rest of this is like amazing right now like i said earlier i'm getting a little extra oil coming through on the side where i put the foundation on top Oh, I'm sorry, take that back. I'm getting a little bit more oil through on the side where I put the foundation on first, which I mentioned is kind of more common. Um, typically the side where I put the concealer and contour on before the foundation tends to last a little bit longer and that's what I'm seeing here, but not by much. So again, the oil pickup is very minimal of a difference between the two. I'm sure you can barely tell the difference. Um, but I am seeing a little bit more on this side, but aside from that, like coming through, I mean, I'm not getting much, I am getting a good amount of oil coming through, but I am an oily person, but not a lot of product coming up, which is great. Um, so at the end of the day, you guys, I mean, eight and a half hours, both sides held up pretty well. So you can tell like it's not extremely drastic of a difference for the wear and the longevity of it. It's really just your preference for the finish, the style, um, and just my personal preference when it comes to this side. So this is my concealer and contour first side. I do end up using a little less product because my intention is more of a natural finish. Whereas with this side, I'll end up going a little bit heavier with my concealer and my contour because I feel like I need to kind of overcompensate in a sense for the fact that like my face is flatter um, after I put the foundation on. I'm not sure if that applies for everybody, um, but for me at least, like when I put on my foundation, it takes away the natural shadow that's there. So I feel like I really have to dive in there. Whereas if I put it on beforehand, even if it's the slightest bit, um, it really does make a difference in the contrast even after I put the foundation on. Um, so yeah, here we are. Just gonna show you guys again. And I know that I obviously lost a good amount, not even just this part of my face, but also my lips. It's been a long day. Um, but hopefully you guys get the idea here. Uh, but let me know what you think, you know, what, what do you think is going to work best for you? What do you like better of the two? Like I said, really the longevity and the wear of it, there's not much of a difference. It's, it's really on the application, the amount of product being used and really the finish that you want, whether it's more of a natural finish or more of a dramatic kind of contrast, um, between your contoured sections and the more lighter portions that you want of your face. So let me know and let me know what else you guys want to see in videos in the future. And I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you for joining.